Yes, absolutely. Um, sort of big believer in the opportunity in China over time. So I do own about 100,000 shares and, and my holdings have increased over time. Yeah, I think, you know, the process is, is very much bottom up, um, looking at individual companies. Um, you know, I, I don't sort of target weights in particular sectors or anything like that. It's about you know, the individual companies and, and, and really how they stack up. And I'm looking for, you know, companies, um, you know, that, that can be much bigger over time, the companies that generate good returns uh, and companies that, that have strong management teams uh, to execute over time. And as always, you know, I'm, I'm trying to look at companies where I think those factors are really not reflected um, in the stock price. Um, in, terms of, in terms of finding the companies, we really spread the net wide, um, as you know, we, we try to leverage the, um, you know, the investment trust and the flexibility that it has. So we can invest in unlisted companies. We can invest in, in, in companies that are, that, are, that are smaller in scale, just given you know, the less concern that we need to have about, about liquidity. Um, very happy to be looking at areas that are out of favor. Definitely, definitely try to be early um, and have a, a long-term focus. So, I mean, I really think there's a range of sources when it, when it comes to, uh, you know, potential um, in, in investment ideas. But, you know, in, really in, in any industry, we're trying to, I'd say, map the industry. So really understanding the underlying fundamentals, the competitive landscape, key suppliers, customers, really just trying to understand all the players. So as part of that process, we're generally meeting with, with, uh, with most of those players. We're trying to understand how the power balance um, is, is, changing, is changing over time. Um, and it's through that process we uh, we find you know we find we find new ideas. Um, you know, in terms of the holding period, uh, if you look at the turnover for the fund, it's generally sort of been in the thirty percent range. So if you sort of back into into that, you're probably looking at an average holding period of about three years. Um, and I you know I think that's probably normal in quite a in quite a volatile market like China. You do need to be adjusting positioning based on. Uh, the risk reward that you're seeing in the market, but you know, I'm quite happy to own companies um, forever as long as their you know the valuation is reasonable and they're executing. Um, and there are some stocks in the portfolio that I've that I've held um, you know over over a ten year period. Yeah, so you know it's it's been a it's been a challenging market market in China over the over the past year. Uh, so if we look at the one year numbers through uh, December of last year, um, the fund was down about 17 percent um, and that's versus the market which was down just just over 21 percent. So you know um, not great that we've got an absolute absolute loss over the year, but uh, still beating the index over a three year period we're up just under 60 percent uh, versus the market which was up just under 20 percent and over a five year period up, uh, just over 70% versus the market, um, up just over 40%. And I should say those are those are nav uh, those are nav returns. So the share price has actually done better uh, than those numbers um, as we've managed to to close the discount versus the uh, versus the nav over time. Yeah, I think you know the most favorable environment would be one that's normal. Um, you know, really not too strong, not too weak, uh, an environment, you know, that just rewards companies that are sort of um, able to, to deliver the earnings um, over time. Um, you know, in terms of an environment that would be less favorable, um, you know, I'd say it's definitely the weaker environment. And the reason I say that is, is the fund does have a small to mid cap bias. Um, and, you know, in, in sort of weaker environments, often um, you see liquidity come out of Come out of the market, and that can be an impact. Somewhat offsetting that, I, I, I do have have a, have a have a quality bias. I'm looking for sort of you know companies that that you know can uh, steadily grow over time. So that somewhat somewhat impacts that. But you know, generally in weaker environments, um, you know the, the the fund the fund will suffer. But as we know, um, you know when the market normalizes, as long as the companies are executing and, and delivering the earnings, 
uh, you know, the, you know the, the, the stock price has come back. And that's, that's generally what we've seen, um, how things have played out over time.